Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll solve a few basic problems on the topic ports and streams so that you can have a better understanding of the concept. Since questions based on this topic are most frequently asked in competitive exams, it makes sense to understand the concept well. These questions are the ones where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. A man's speed with the current is 15 km per hour and speed of the current is 2.5 km per hour. What is the man's speed against the current? Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are given a man's speed with the current is 15 km per hour. This means the man is moving downstream with the current. So the man's downstream speed is u plus v which is 15 km per hour. Speed of the current is 2.5 km per hour. So V is equal to 2.5 km per hour. We are asked to find the man's speed against the current. This means the man is moving upstream against the current. So his upstream speed is U minus V. And we are asked to find the value of U minus V. Now it's given that U plus V is 15 km per hour. And the value of V is 2.5 km per hour. So substituting the value of V here and solving, we get the value of U as 15 minus 2.5, which is 12.5 km per hour. So U is 12.5 km per hour. That is the man's rate in still water is 12.5 km per hour. Now we are asked to find the value of u minus v. Now we have found that the value of u is 12.5 km per hour and the value of v is given as 2.5 km per hour. So the man's rate against the current which is nothing but u minus v is equal to 12.5 minus 2.5 which is 10 km per hour. So the man's rate against the current is 10 kilometers per hour. So the correct answer is option C, 10 kilometers per hour. In one hour, a boat goes 11 kilometers per hour along the stream and 5 kilometers per hour against the stream. Find the speed of the boat in still water in kilometers per hour. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here it's given a boat goes 11 kilometers per hour along the stream. Along the stream means the boat is going downstream. So the downstream speed of the boat is 11 kilometers per hour. And the boat goes 5 kilometers per hour against the stream. Against the stream stream means the boat is going upstream. So the upstream speed of the boat is 5 kilometers per hour. And we are asked to find the speed of the boat in still water. Now downstream speed is given, upstream speed is given and we are asked to find the speed of the boat in still water. Speed of the boat in still water can be found out using the formula speed of the boat in still water is equal to downstream speed plus upstream speed divided by 2. Now we know downstream speed is 11 km per hour and upstream speed is 5 km per hour. Substitute these values in this formula. So we get speed of the boat in still water is 11 plus 5 divided by 2 which is nothing but 8 km per hour. So the speed of the boat in still water is 8 km per hour. The correct answer is option C, 8 km per hour. 
a man can swim downstream at 16 kilometers per hour and upstream at 4 kilometers per hour find the speed of the current you are given four options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one it's given that a man can swim downstream at 6 km 16 km per hour so his downstream speed is 16 km per hour and he can swim upstream at 4 km per hour so the man's upstream speed is 4 km per hour we are asked to find the speed of the current now here the downstream speed is given upstream speed is given and we are asked to find the speed of the current so speed of the current can be found out using the formula speed of the current is equal to downstream speed minus upstream speed divided by 2 now we know that downstream speed is 16 km per hour and upstream speed is 4 km per hour let's substitute these values in this formula and solve so speed of the current is equal to 16 minus 4 divided by 2 which is nothing but 6 km per hour so speed of the current is 6 km per hour and the correct answer is option b 6 km per hour a boat running downstream covers a distance of 16 km in 2 hours while for covering the same distance upstream it takes 4 hours What is the speed of the boat in still water? You are given four options here, and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here it's given a boat goes downstream, covering a distance of 16 kilometers in two hours. So downstream distance is 16 kilometers, and downstream time is two hours. While for covering the same distance upstream, it takes four hours. So the distance is the same. so upstream distance is also 16 kilometers and upstream time is 4 hours and we are asked to find the speed of the boat in still water now we know that the speed of the boat in still water is equal to downstream speed plus upstream speed divided by 2 now if we know the values of downstream speed and upstream speed we can easily calculate the value of the speed of the boat in still water now we know that downstream speed is nothing but downstream distance divided by downstream time it's given that the downstream distance is 16 and downstream time is 2 so uh, downstream speed is equal to 16 divided by 2 which is 8 km per hour now we know that upstream speed is nothing but upstream distance divided by upstream time It's given that the upstream distance is 16 kilometers and the upstream time is 4 hour, 4 hours so upstream speed is equal to 16 divided by 4 which is 4 kilometers per hour now we know that the downstream speed is 8 kilometers per hour and upstream speed is 6, uh, 4 kilometers per hour now let's substitute these values in the form in this formula and find out the speed of the boat in still water so speed of the boat in still water is equal to 8 plus 4 divided by 2 which is nothing but 6 km per hour so speed of the boat in still water is 6 km per hour so the correct answer is option b 6 km per hour The speed of a boat in still water is 30 kilometers per hour, and the rate of the current is 26 kilometers per hour. Find the distance traveled downstream in 15 minutes. Here you are given four options, and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here it's given that the speed of the boat in still water is 30 kilometers per hour. Also, speed of the current is given as 26 kilometers per hour also the downstream time is given as 15 minutes since all the units are in kilometers per hour we'll convert this minutes to hours we know that 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour so 15 minutes is nothing but 15 divided by 60 hours we are asked to find the downstream distance now we know that this 
distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So downstream distance is equal to downstream speed multiplied by downstream time. Now downstream time is given as 15 by 60 hours. So if we know the value of downstream speed, we can easily calculate downstream distance. Now we know that downstream speed is nothing but the speed of the boat in still water plus the speed of the current. We know that the speed of the boat in still water is 30 kilometers per hour and speed of current is 26 kilometers per hour. So downstream speed is equal to 30 plus 26 which is 56 kilometers per hour. Now we know downstream speed is 56 kilometers per hour and downstream time is 15 by 60 hours. Let's substitute these values in the formula here and find the downstream distance. So downstream distance is equal to 56 multiplied by 15 by 60 which is nothing but 14 kilometers. So the downstream distance is 14 kilometers. The boat can travel 14 kilometers downstream in 15 minutes. So the correct answer is option A, 14 kilometers. A boat can travel with a speed of 13 km per hour in still water. If the speed of the stream is 4 km per hour, find the time taken by the boat to go 68 km downstream. Here you are given 4 options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now it is given that the speed of the boat in still water is 13 km per hour. Speed of the stream is 4 kilometers per hour. Downstream distance is 68 kilometers and we are asked to find the downstream time. Now we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. So downstream time is equal to downstream distance divided by downstream speed. Now downstream distance is given as 68 kilometers. So if we know the value of the downstream speed, we can easily calculate the downstream time. Now downstream speed is nothing but speed of the boat in still water plus speed of the uh, stream. Now speed of the boat in still water is given as 13 km per hour and speed of the stream is given as 4 km per hour. So downstream speed is equal to 13 plus 4 which is 17 kilometers per hour. So now we know the downstream distance is 68 kilometers and downstream speed is 17 kilometers per hour. So let's substitute these values in the formula here and find the downstream time. So downstream time is equal to 68 divided by 17 which is 4 hours. So the boat takes 4 hours to cover 68 kilometers downstream. So the correct answer is option C, 4 hours. A boatman goes 2 kilometers against the current of the stream in 1 hour and goes 1 kilometer along the current in 10 minutes. How long will it take to go 5 kilometers in stationary water? Here you are given 4 options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are given that the boatman goes 2 kilometers against the current of the stream. Against the current of the stream means the boatman is going upstream. So the upstream distance is 2 kilometers and upstream time is 1 hour and the boatman goes 1 kilometer along the current in 10 minutes. Along the current means he is going downstream. So the downstream distance is 1 kilometer and downstream time is 10 minutes. Since all the times are given in hour, we will convert this minute to hours. We know that 60 minutes is 1 hour. So 10 minutes is 10 by 60 hour which is nothing but 1 by 6 hour. Now we are 
asked to find how long it will take for the boatman to go 5 kilometers in stationary water. So the distance in stationary water is 5 kilometers. Stationary water is nothing but still water. So distance in still water is 5 kilometers and we are asked to find the time taken by the boatman to cover 5 kilometers in still water. Now we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. So time in stationary water is equal to distance in stationary water divided by speed in stationary water. Now it's given that the distance in stationary water is 5 kilometers. So if we know the speed in stationary water, we can easily calculate the time in stationary water. So now let's find the speed in stationary water. We know that speed in stationary water is nothing but downstream speed plus upstream speed divided by 2. But here we are not given downstream speed and upstream speed. But instead the upstream and downstream distances are given and upstream and downstream times are given. Using these data, let's calculate the uh, upstream and downstream speeds. So downstream speed is equal to downstream distance divided by downstream time which is 1 divided by 1 by 6 which is nothing but 6 kilometers per hour. Upstream speed is equal to upstream distance divided by upstream time which is 2 divided by 1 that is 2 kilometers per hour. Now we know that the downstream speed is 6 kilometers per hour and upstream speed is 2 kilometers per hour. Let's substitute these values in the formula here to find the uh, speed of the boat in still water. So speed of the boat in uh, stationary water is uh, 6 plus 2 divided by 2 which is 4 kilometers per hour. Now distance in stationary water is given as 5 kilometers per hour and speed in stationary water we have found as 4 kilometers per hour. Let's substitute these values in the formula here to find the time in stationary water. So the time taken by the boatman to go 5 kilometers in stationary water is equal to 5 divided by 4 which is 1 and 1 fourth hour. 1 fourth hour is nothing but 15 minutes. So the time taken is 1 hour 15 minutes. So the correct answer is option C, 1 hour 15 minutes. Viewers, please go through this video till you have understood the concept. Practice more such problems to understand the concept clearly and also to increase your speed. Please do watch our video on miscellaneous salt problems on boats and streams for better understanding. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.